Well, <laughs> so Brent's away today. He has he's out visiting his aunt in Maple Ridge. Um, she's not well. Um, so I thought while he was away, I would give you a bit of a um, RV tour. So um, where to start? Um, directly behind me is the pantry, and I have used baskets galore. So here's all the oils and stuff. That's a plastic basket for any drips and nastiness that comes out of there. So then I found these lovely little baskets and they work great for popcorn and Brent's pop darts and and uh, <clears throat> all sorts of little odds and ends. Her Nutella. Um, the other shape that I got was these square ones and they're just a cloth basket with wire um, around the top. So they worked out really well. So I found them at the dollar store. They were around anywhere from two to four dollars each. And I have the cupboard is full of the pantry is full of them. Um, I still do have some of my plastic bins that I brought from our uh, sticks and bricks. Acquired these shelves, little wire shelves that fit in there. There's some other ones up on the top there. So those worked out great so we can utilize that space just a little bit more better. More better? <laughs> Gotta work on my English. So, and then up here we have all our spices and I've got some plastic containers and I've got some more of these um, cloth containers. And then down on the lower shelf we have our canned goods um, and then all of our um, plastics and some cookware. And then on the very bottom we have a wok and a roasting pan that fits this oven. So that's the pantry. Bringing it over to this side of the kitchen, we have our storage, and basically we've decided, and again I have the baskets, so we have our travel mugs and mugs that don't fit under the shelf. We have all of our, our cups for the, uh, the magic bullet, um, and then just some baskets. Brent's got uh, a basket with sections that we he keeps his car keys in and this and that. Um, so that's that covered. And we put it into baskets because I had watched an episode of KYD, thank you Trish, and about these glass cup, glass doors, um, we got the cloth baskets so that when um, these items are shifting around when we travel, I mean they shouldn't bounce out, but uh, so for the heavier items, they're all on the bottom shelf. Um, so we got these nice baskets again. Um, I've traded in all my glassware for lightweight um, plasticware and including our wine glasses. I prefer the stemless ones because I tend to knock things over. <laughs> okay. And then in the last cupboard, I did not want to live off of plastic ware my whole life, so we brought some of our corning along, and they are all sitting on a uh, on a little rack that we got at IKEA. Um, and then we have bowls over here and some, and some soup bowls. So that basically covers that cupboard. Um, of course, down below here is the furnace. In this cupboard, we have bakeware. Um, yeah, so basically bakeware, things that we're not using a terrible lot of time, all the time. Um, and then this drawer, we, we affectionately call it our junk drawer. <laughs> and uh, so it's got everything from batteries and just odds and ends that we've put in here. Um, when we travel, this basket goes under the table on the floor. It's metal and it's fairly heavy and typically doesn't have any fruit on it when we're traveling. Um, and then we have our charging station in behind here. Uh, we have the USB plug-ins and we have another plug-in. So, um, and then I just, my teapot lives here. <laughs> and the bottle of wine I decided to crack because I heard RV tours, they go with the wine. <laughs> um, or wine goes with an RV tour. Um, yeah, and then I've got another one of these baskets that we tend to keep our bread in. And, and of course our, our mobile um, paper towel roll. So it, all these things have a place when we travel. So the teapot goes down in the bottom drawer with the bakeware and I kind of wrap it up in a 
tea towel so that it doesn't get broken. Um, as I said, the basket goes down there and then the bread basket goes into the pantry and I've left space for all that sort of stuff. Okay, so that's that for this corner. I will bring you around behind the counter and we will talk about what goes on back there. Brent came home so he's gonna help me shoot this segment because my arm, the camera's just too close when it's there. Um, so this is our island and we have three drawers here. So we have the cutlery, um, plastic wraps, that sort of stuff, plastic wrap and Ziploc bags, and then all the dish towels and, and that sort of thing there. Um, so then we have the cupboard underneath the sink and it runs the whole length of the sink. So actually a little further than that. Um, so in here we have Wrigley's giant <laughs> dog food container and and Natty, so I mean that takes up a fair bit of real estate under here. Um, and then I have my basket with all the, uh, you know, dish, extra dish soap and cleaning supplies for the kitchen. Um, and this, quite often when we're not going anywhere, will live on the counter. And these go in its spot. So when we're at home base or at camp um, or at an R another RV park, um, these will live down here. They do fit. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so it all just kind of fits in here. And I even have enough room under here for a recycling bin. And I have my dish gloves, which are hanging on a little command strip hook right there inside the door. Um, so the dish, bleh, the dish rack, um, it's a collapsible one. It's made by Starfrit and <laughs> it's not easy to expand. There we go. And it fits nicely here on the counter or inside the sink or, you know, if you need to use the whole sink to do your dishes, then it can just live on the counter like that. The thing about the sink that a gentleman who lives in the RV park is to make sure you put one of these inside of your um, inside your sink drain because it's really amazing um, when you live in sticks and bricks you don't think about it the, all the little tiny things that would go down there and then it's eventually end up in your um, in your gray water so how do you get them out of there after that so there's no flush for the gray water so this little thing has been a lifesaver. Over here, I did not put my frying pan away this morning. <laughs> so we have a drawer underneath the oven and it contains a lot of the bakeware and that sort of thing. And the frying pan can just live down there too. And beside this oven, we have the rest of our pots and pans and some dry, uh, cooling racks and that sort of thing. Um, and then just some odds and sods of cooking utensils in this drawer. So that pretty much takes up that space. And then if we go over here beside the TV, so this is the only uh, sort of kitchen cupboard in the living room. <laughs> um, so we just have some bigger containers and our cereal and some cookbooks and sort of that sort of that stuff that wasn't, there wasn't room in the pantry for that. Um, this is our electronics cupboard. So when the camera goes in the case, that's where it will live. It doesn't spend a lot of time there these days though. Um, this middle one is not actually a cupboard. It's the radio and DVD player and that sort of thing. And then this one, we had the junk drawer sort of overflowed and into a container so it gets to live with the uh, CDs and those are my spare tools <laughs> <laughs> easy access tools things like screwdrivers and stuff and then this is another bit of a tool cupboard um, this is where the tripod and Brent's candy stash <laughs> happen to live <laughs> guilty we downsize so much that I feel like we don't have a lot of extra stuff and we're trying to be very mindful about the weight of each item. Brent reminds me <laughs> quite regularly. Covered here we have my yoga mat and my exercise um, book. 
Um, and then we have four cupboards over top. It's the liquor cupboard slash paper plates and whatnot. Um, then we just got some games and some rents books and the owner's manual, a few things like that. So there's the uh, rarest game in the world. <laughs> This well, one, one that we, one that we rarely use, shall we say? Which one's that? The chess or the chess? <laughs> is it the or, chess? or crib in this or house? Or the crib. We don't spend a lot of time playing cards. And this cupboard's basically got some more books of myself, and then sort of my office supplies. <laughs> Down here got dedicated to our <laughs> our um, travel binder and some scrapbooking, um, some photo albums, and that sort of thing. I still like to make photo albums. I, I like them. They're fun. And I don't have to turn on a computer to look at them. <laughs> we have um, a little hidden desk underneath the table. Um, perfect for the laptop. Perfect for the laptop and some of my notebooks. This is my project pile so it pretty much lives on the table unless we are moving and then it goes into a bag and comes in the truck with me. Wrigley's comfy couch. There's blankets on it and she knows that if there's blankets are not there, she doesn't go on it. Although when the blankets are not there, she gives you a look like, seriously, where's my blankets? I need to be on my couch. So that couch, Wrigley's couch, folds out into a queen size bed which fills up this area. So the gray bench is another item that we brought from our sticks and bricks. It's an ottoman, not that we need a place to put our feet, but it uh, doubles as storage for blankets and that sort of thing too. And we've been using it in this space, <laughs> in front of the fridge. It fits really nice in front of here. Um, the garbage bin goes under the table um, when we travel, so, um, so it fits really nice in here, so we don't have to worry about fridge doors popping open. Just a bit of a headache when we want to, if we want to have a snack along the way. There's just the two of us and the two dogs. So this trailer is ideal for couples. It's not so great for families. <laughs> I did have my grandsons um, stay over one night. Uh, there's three of them. There's the twins. They slept on the pullout bed and they didn't need the whole thing. <laughs> they're, fi they're five and they ended up being all curled up at one end of it. It was pretty funny. Um, and then their older brother, he is eight, and he got to sleep in the big comfy chair, which when he got home, he said, Mom, I got to sleep in the big comfy chair. It's awesome. <laughs> so we just pulled it, pulled it out, had the footrest out, and he curled all up in there, and he just slept like a baby. Maddie has claimed the big comfy chair with the red blanket as hers. So in the morning when we come out here, she's made her way out from the bedroom off the big cushion and curls up on the big comfy red chair. In the bathroom, we have uh, a variety of cupboards. Um, so I'll start with this one here. We've got our towels in there. Um, Brent's got a lifetime supply of Irish Spring. And if you just can't get around the door there. So, and then on this side, we have, uh, like, there's tons and tons and tons of empty space in there. So, uh, this cupboard here, medicine cupboard, um, it's always being rearranged. I feel every time I buy something new or it just, I look in there and go, oh, that, that needs to be changed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then underneath the sink, we have needles. Um, <laughs> we have this cupboard here. I recently purchased a rack to go underneath here. It almost fills the whole space. I was hoping to run it front to back but that didn't work out. Um, it was a little bit bigger than I thought. So I have space underneath here for smaller things like the happy camper container and, and uh, basically a little small soap dispensers and that sort of thing. Um, I was able to make enough, create enough room to so that the uh, toilet paper holder um, could go into the cupboard. I was having issues with it being right beside the toilet. It was just didn't feel right, um, and it was very crowded there too. So we'll put that away. So and then I've sort of taken over the top two drawers with um, makeup and hair stuff and 
taken over. I think you <laughs> kind of moved those in uh, day one. Yeah, well, they filled uh, it I up. Just, I just had to throw some stuff into the bottom drawer just to claim a little bit of space. Yeah, well, we've got some deodorant and that sort of thing in there, some first aid supplies. So. Yes. Um, you're a guy. What kind of bathroom stuff do you have? Okay, so our bedroom has so much closet space. So this is Brent's closet where you can hang lots of items. Um, so he's got a fair bit of room there. Basically short stuff. And then he's got three drawers for, I think one's got t-shirts, one's got socks and underwear, and, and one's got some sweaters in there. And then above the bed, we have um, three cupboards as well. This one basically takes up, gets taken over by the CPAP. And, well, Brent's got some more snacks. <laughs> and a ball glove in that center one. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. <laughs> Underneath the bed, we have, and I think most of the trailers probably have good storage underneath the bed. Um, it's stuffed. <laughs> so there's that. So, and then we have the dresser. Um, so th top three drawers I've sort of, well, yeah. She commandeered those immediately. Brent has these two in addition to his three drawers on the uh, his side of the room. <laughs> well, I had to claim something, honey. <laughs> and then I have the bottom two drawers. Um, beside the TV is some shallow cupboards. We have Brent's hat cupboard, hats and sunglasses. And then I just have the, like, the iron and the uh, lint rollers. <laughs> a staple in our house because we have a Wrigley. So this is another little dog corner. We have their, their pillow. They tend to share it. Um, we couldn't fit both of their cushions inside the trailer. So, and then we have our rain jackets, which Maddie's is very dirty right now. And this is the bigger of the two containers that I told you about before. And that's where uh, the doggy shampoo and oh, the Advantix and uh, um, the greenies. Okay, my closet. It's the big closet. Um, Which runs the entire width of the trailer. From there to there. <laughs> and she says, I have too much cupboard space. No, I just have more stuff than you do. Okay, yes. but <laughs> my, this closet, you're going to have to come closer. Yeah, okay. So over on this side, hang on. over on this side would be where your washer and dryer would go, or washer. I, for sure, I'll just... I, I know the washer hookups are in here. Yeah. Uh, just on the left there, behind the plastic bag... Uh, holder. Holder. <laughs> and then against the wall, there is actually a place for cutting a dryer vent. Um, it's either a dryer... single unit washer on this side, and on the other side, there's room for a dryer. And I think there's a spot back here. There's no spot to... For a dryer uh, cut out. No. Yes, there is actually. Okay, I just can't. There's no sticker on the wall like there is on the other it's side. It's fallen off because it was there. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, anyways so, so we have, we can put a washer on one side, dryer on the other, or on this side we could just put a single combo unit, which is a washer and dryer. You can get a ventless or a vented dryer. So, but I feel like those dryers are not super, um, they take an eternity to dry clothes is what I've heard. This is true. So, okay, so I was able to, we have the Dyson vacuum, another necessity when you have a Wrigley, um, <laughs> that it just plugs in here and charges right, it's a little charging station right there. Um, so, and then I have all this floor space, which I share with the laundry bag, the laundry bin. And let's see, which way are we going to go? Behind here, oh, my skate bag, <laughs> we have more shelves. So um, these, this goes all the way into the nose of the trailer. Uh, so I have these big bins with sweaters and winter type clothing. Um, and then we have our bed, some extra bedding and stuff up there too. And then I have some shoes on the bottom. Oh, these shoes up here, they have lived up here the entire, since I put them up here when we moved into the trailer, um, and they've gone on two major trips 
that we've done um, and they haven't fallen down that's like the only thing that has not fallen <laughs> Brent wanted me to move this though to show you that you can access um, the pass-through where's that's where the boat lives <laughs> that's the boat and uh, brooms and the wagon the wagon and all kinds of stuff so you, do, you can access it that way we haven't really had a need to do that so each side of the bed has this little shelf um, we each have our little uh, basket for things my phone goes in here and <laughs> we have our nighttime stuff um, on, on your side you've got the uh, USB plugins as well yeah there's some USB plugins. and on my side I do have an electrical plug-in I also have an electrical plug-in over this side too. Oh, lucky girl. Yeah, I got it all. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's the third cupboard above the bed. So just a couple of books and some of my PJs. But I mean, there's so much space that is not utilized that uh, we just don't have the stuff to fill it up. Um, Which is a good thing. <laughs> yes, because we don't want to overload our trailer <laughs> and cause uh, a weight issue. Um, yeah, that's it for the bedroom. So that's our trailer, our 315 RLTS. Got it right. Got a girl. <laughs> um, so if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notifications bell and please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.